Church services were held around the world today to mark Good Friday. That includes a mass at the Vatican. The celebration began with Pope Francis lying face down on the floor in front of the altar in the traditional way. Good Friday is observed as the day when Jesus Christ was killed almost 2,000 years ago, if you don't know. The mass was held in a nearly empty basilica due to, pre, to precautions for the pandemic. Now, it certainly seems like the Easter weekend means a little more this year. There's a lot to be thankful for, especially with COVID restrictions here at home easing and more and more people getting vaccinated. That meant in-person church services today. Jonathan Pulasic went to a Good Friday Mass. Jonathan, today not only felt different, but it certainly looked different. There were in-person uh, church services. Yeah, Tatum, that's right. It definitely uh, was a little bit different. Everybody that I spoke to today was disappointed about last year and for good reason, but this year they're glad to be back with their church family. A lot of plans were upended in 2020, starting with Easter. But this year, everyone is ready to be together again. Everybody that talks about it longs to get back together with the community and to worship together. And, and so this Holy Week uh, gives us a new opportunity to do so. On Palm Sunday, for example, over our five masses, we had over 1,200 people that gathered together. And uh, I'm looking forward to even more on Easter. For Amy Crawford, she doesn't take these services this year for granted. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing to be able to celebrate with our family as last year, everybody was locked down. So instead of traveling to see family and friends, we were um, in our homes and celebrating uh, uh, the resurrection of Jesus by ourselves with our intimate family. So we got to reflect on a, a different way last year and this year it's just so much more glorious to be surrounded by your church family. Despite the pandemic, Monsignor Droll sees some reflection of Easter and the pandemic. I believe that uh, uh, we, we see, especially in the letter to the Hebrews in, in the New Testament, uh, some reflections on, on Jesus' suffering and death uh, that we can tie into as part of our experience with the coronavirus and, and all that we have faced over this last year. And as for Casey Crawford, he's just glad to be able to celebrate Jesus in person once again. Well, it's great. I think Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, it's, it's I'm sorry he died, but he died for our sins and I, and I just like Jesus so much. Now, while the places around Texas are able to open up 100% and masks are no longer required, we're still seeing a lot of social distancing and cut down capacity in these churches. Monsignor Droll expecting only about half capacity for each service this weekend and beyond. Tatum, back to you.